Get on my knees when I pray to stay in God's grace Lately I've been wondering how to get in God's gates My granny died, wish I could've got in God's way No racket tens on overflow, but you can't time stay I put a 50 on your head, show you crime pay You can't stop anything except for your dying day You can do anything, let you know what your mind say Alright, so you talked about building a brand and how your first logo had the brain and how that was a big emphasis. So how did you kind of come about it? And then how did that kind of lead you to your new logos that you make and how you implement those? Okay, with well, a brain, man, like I told you, it's still for me being ADHD. You feel me? So I wanted to focus on the brain. And um, I knew weed, weed is um, what, what, what would get people attention. I mean, cause I mean, if you know weed, who, people who love weed, it's gonna get your attention. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the people. That I'm gearing towards, so you know, um, the 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 brain is like the strongest muscle on the body, you know. So it was important to focus on that, and you know, the brain is called Piehead Genius. So you know, it always it always come back to that, because being a genius is the highest state of mind, and you feel me. And it's just so ironic that we make you happy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. So. Um, we makes you think too. Yeah. We makes you really sit down sometimes and yeah. try to yeah. understand shit that you shouldn't even yeah. have tried to. Yeah, yeah, for real. It do that, man. It do that. So, so from the from the first logo, um, it grew. We got the granny, as you see that I'm rocking right now. It grew, but the granny, um, the granny, we um, we came up with her, man. Just getting stoned, man. Being creative, you know, mm -hmm. like we need something a little bit different than the big weed logo, cause you know. Back when I came out with this brand, like people was going to jail for nickel bags. You feel mm, me? So yeah. walking around with a big weed plant on your shirt, it just really wasn't a thing to do. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, but at, at the end of the day, you got to be bold. So I continue to, to push the original logo, but we opted out and we, we created the granny. And the granny, as you see, she fire. People love her. You know what I'm saying? People love her. And she's just a super soft feeling. What's up, man? man, man. This the, in the middle of an interview. I know it yeah. is. Looking good, I mean, too. In a, in a, Forbid they take one of mine, we make the ground shake They see we eat over here, wanna reach on our plate We carry glocks, we wearing extensions, we need more drakes Before I eat with the rat, I hang with more snakes From the trenches and fast living, now it's toward days The money we getting cool, but I need a war safe Get on my knees when I pray to stay in God's grace Lately I've been wondering how to get in God's gaze My granny died, wish I could've got in God's way No racket tens on overflow, but you can't time stay I put a 50 on your head, show you crime pay you can't stop anything except for your dying day you can do anything let you know what your mind say. yeah so it, the granny just puts you in a different type of mind state mm -hmm. you know she's real soft real clean and you know you can wear her anywhere you know and she it just make it just make it a little bit different than people back then thinking like oh he's just a weed head he's just yeah. a drug dealer or you know anything that came with that stigma and a plant back then you know mm -hmm. so it was just Get, uh, creating the other logos was more like a crossover, you know, crossover for us to plant, plant our feet as an established brand and not just some people just throwing logos on shirts. Yeah, you know especially in the last three years with all the 27 states now that have marijuana and just now the whole mindset is changing, especially with the younger generations coming up and everything. People smoking weed at 15, 16, you know, Easy. and now but they don't see it as like, a drug no more. Because exactly. in my opinion, it never was a drug. It's yeah. a hurt. Bro. P People. Politics. politics. Politics, man. It's all about politics, man. And I understood that. And, man, I, I just got a, um, a fuck the world motto. You mm -hmm. feel me? Because I feel like at the end of the day, we should all be free thinkers. You know what I mean? How you going to tell me that I can't smoke this plant, but you going to put me on Adderall? Adderall, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So on a that controlled was, substance. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was a big thing for me. Man, once I start realizing that, I'm like, damn, they got me running around on drugs. You get me? So it, it, that's just really what it is, man. It's a battle for freedom for me. You know what I'm saying? It's really a battle for freedom for me, man. With all this shit, with everything, for real, for real. It's really a battle for freedom. That's why I wear these clothes boldly mm -hmm. and proudly, and I let them speak for me. You feel me? And I just, just hope, you know, the, the, I know the world going to understand, but that's just my goal, you know, to push that peace positivity, unity through the plant. You feel me? Because I feel like that's that's what I'm here to do. You feel me? For real, man. For real.
So what would your counter be to somebody who says, I don't like the brand because I feel like it's too weed based. So what are what do you say to somebody like that? Well, what I say to somebody like that, I mean that you gotta focus on the brain. You gotta focus on the brain, you know. Yes, it's it's um it's weed based because that's what stimulates the mind. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? For me. For the weed stimulates my mind, which sparks my creativity, which, you know, battle depression, you know, all that, all that different kind of stuff. And then you know, we got different selections. We got shirt like the granny where you could just wear it, you know, and then we got things coming out with just genius on there. But for us, we don't want to go away from what got us here. And you know, the plant is what got us here, mm -hmm. you know. And we're going to always stand on that. And we're going to always stand on that because if you see where the government, the battle the government has, the, the just the amount of effort they, they put into hiding it and trying to uh, make it bad and this and that. And look at it coming full circle. They about to have to free everybody. They gonna have to do a lot more. So you know, I feel like I'm in the right fight. And um, my lane really just now opening. Like mm -hmm. it really wasn't even opening six years ago. You know, well, really eight years ago when I started this brand, it really wasn't opening. You know, but now it's really the gate is opening for me. And you know, we seeing daylight, and it's going, it's going, it's going to make the world a better place, man. And that's that's what I would tell somebody that um that think it's just too based on weed, mm -hmm. I, I would tell them to look at how much of a good plant marijuana is. You know what I mean? Really do your research, see the lives that it saved. You know, really get analytical with it. Yeah. You know, if you really want to go there. Because if you want, there's yeah. tons of medical yeah. research that yeah. proves that yeah. it helps with epilepsy, yeah. it helps with different yeah. things like that, yeah. seizures and everything. Yeah, so if you really, if they really want to go there, you just get analytical with it, man. And, and I'm pretty sure they come back and they'll be like, man, you're right, man. Right, that plant is doing great things around the world, man. And I, in my opinion, people need this plant. You get me? People mm -hmm. need this plant in so many different ways, and it can replace all. You know, it can make a better environment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So why would we want that? Why would we want to push environment sustainability? You know what I mean? That's what marijuana and hemp is doing. You know what I mean? It's sustainable. You can go clothes, gas, paper, everything that they polluting the environment with, with hip can help. So, you know, man, I just feel like, you know, I'm in this fight for freedom, man. So that's what, that's what it's gonna always be for me, for real. Especially too that we, and not just we in general, but no matter what, people are gonna do weed or they're gonna do yeah. heroin, crack yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So I feel it's a matter of realizing it's not beneficial if you've been doing the same thing for 30 years, locking people up over a gram, two, exactly. three grams. Exactly. Now I just think that Colorado was passed the, they decriminalized low amounts of drugs yeah. and they're gonna invest that. And I think that's where, at, where the country should go. Yeah. They should stop sending people to jail for fucking $50 with a fucking $50. weed or crack or heroin. $50. And instead use that money to actually hit the real problems in their life. You know what I mean? Real, Cause nobody just wakes up one day and goes, I'm gonna shoot up heroin. You know what I mean? Not like going through shit. Things, through things shit. lead up to that. Yeah. And now I think with Colorado doing it, that's gonna put an emphasis on more states to realize like that's the right way to go yeah, about it. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, and I feel you on that, man. And, and to speak on that, man, shit. I just had to go do nine months for weed lemonade. You feel me? Yeah, so I just, I've been home probably a year, but yeah, so I got caught with, I was making my own weed lemonade. Now I can talk about this shit, you feel me? But um, I was basically, man, I was, you know, doing my thing, you feel me? I had my own brand mm -hmm. in the streets, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, my my problem, they, they problem with me was, you know, I ain't giving them no taxes and I'm yeah. very independent. So now that I'm home, I've been home a year, now I go into dispensaries, the same thing I was selling is on the shelves, the weed lemonade, you know what I mean? So how ironic is that? Yeah. So you know, I feel like the world owe me, you know, and I'm gonna get what it owes me, you feel me? Cause at the end of the day, I have been through a lot for this plant, a lot of cases, a lot of everything, man, just a lot of headache, spent a lot of money, lost a lot of money, you know, so the world owes me when it comes to marijuana, man, because the gate should be open. The gate should be open, man. Not only for 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 a certain demographic of people, but for all people. And it shouldn't be hard as they make it, man. Right now, I'm a two-time felon. You feel me? It's really hard for me to go get a job. But luckily, I'm a I'm an entrepreneur, and I ain't gonna let nothing stop me. But yeah, man, I just 
I just really feel like the government, they owe me. They owe me and my family, man. They owe me and my family, man, for real. D on your head, show you crime pay You can't stop anything, except for your dying day You can do anything, let you know what your mind say Overcome anything, it's all about your mind Is it the heaven for G's? Tell me I wanna go Out here with all these E's, got the devil too close I lost a hundred in one play, nigga, the fuck do you know? We took that fucking risk together, how the fuck do I owe? But everything is everything, got me Tapped in with Method Man and Red Man so, so that was like epic. We went up to the concert. You feel me? It was a big ass concert. Be Real was there. Burner was there. Everybody, you know, Burner. Shout out to Burner, man. Yeah, man. God damn it, I want to be like you. You feel me? But man, it was big. So boom, uh, I locked in with them. Met the man in red, man. I got pictures of. Them. I got pictures with them in the gear. They was pretty dope individuals, you feel me? And that was a lot of motivation because that's like the biggest weed heads in the world. You know, they yeah. made they made being a weed head cool. cool. You know what I'm saying? So for our generation, you know, we probably wouldn't look at them as like the super stoners, you know what I mean? For back then when we was coming up, they really broke the barrier for like smoking weed. It ain't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's more like a funny, you know, different, different type of different type of drug than what they was putting out. So that was major, man, and I knew them showing love, them showing love to me, the world was going to love me, man. It's just a matter of time and putting in that work. So I didn't deal with uh, Method Man, Red Man, Mike Epps. He came to my previous shop. And he's from Cincinnati, yeah, too. People yeah, don't know that. Mike, Mike Epps, um, <laughs> God damn it, Michael Blackson, uh, Lil Duval. Damn. You feel me? Um, Jay the Kid, Styles P. You feel me? I didn't get close. I didn't get close to a lot of people, so it's a lot of motivation. Mm -hmm. I just sit packages to Snoop Dogg. Things ain't fall through, but I was able to get that close. You get what I'm saying? And that's what matters too. That's reality, what matters, man. That's what matters, man. So you know, it's, it's definitely been some celebrities that definitely get Jada Kiss and Styles P in it because you know they be heads yeah. and they hip hop heads and they real and they independent. You feel me? They independent, so. That's, that's my whole goal is to stay independent. You feel me? I want to stay independent, get my own distribution deal. You know, follow that, follow that, follow that path, man. And it, and it, and it a lot comes with that. So, you know, you be needing that motivation. So, like, so like I'm saying, um, Styles P, man, that, that shit was surreal, man. Getting to just chill, smoke, ha ha Davis, the up and coming <laughs> comedian, you feel me? He, he done done skits in my shit. You feel me? So, you know, man, it's, it's, it be rolling, it be rolling, man. It's just like, it's just like marijuana. You know, you plant seeds and, and it grows. yeah, you know, you grow. And as a grower, you know, you start growing. You grow you some good shit. Boom. Then the next batch, it get better. Mm -hmm. Then the next batch, it get better. Then the next batch, you in high times. You feel me? You at the cannabis cup. So that's just that's just what life, man. It's just about growth, growth, growth. But you can't grow without planting them seeds. And me and all those different people, man, it was motivation. But I also knew that those was powerful seeds being planted. You feel me? Because it's like, I wouldn't be here as just Josh. I won't be here. I'm only here because of the brand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even though I created this, it's still like the brand is taking me to meeting these different people and going to these different places. So, you know, that's always major for me, man. That's always major for me when people are interested in my brand and the message behind it and, and what's going on, you know, and, and where where it has taken me because it's been a hell of a journey, man. Yeah. Been a hell of a journey, you feel me? I jumped off the porch when I was 23, you know what I'm saying? Just like, fuck it, I'm about to open a business. You feel me? A lot of people ain't want doing that back then, you feel me? A lot of people weren't letting their nuts hang like that, you know, so. And when they come to opening a business, people just see this. They don't see what the back work. Yeah, the back work. They, they just see this, man, and it, it shit is work, man. It's work. So, meeting them people, motivation to keep me going. You know what I'm saying? And, man, we just want to keep growing and eventually get worldwide, man. You know, for real. So, who is the one celebrity that you want? Like, that you be uh, like, yo, like, is it maybe a Dave Chappelle? Yeah. Like, a, somebody big Dave, that you love? Yeah, I, I fuck with Dave, but, man, for me, I think it got to be. I got two. It gotta be Burner and Wiz Khalifa, man. You feel me? Because I feel like what Burner is doing in the weed game is like pioneering. You get what I'm saying? He like. And he was him. one of the first, him and Ben Baller, one of the first who 
did the runs things, the cookies yeah, things, and that type of shit. They was the first ones, man. They was the first ones, and it's like, the way he opened up the gate, it's almost like the technology hit. That's how he hit them mm -hmm. with the weed. He gets so innovative and so much shit. And opening up here, he got smart weed shops and this and that. So, you know, man, it would definitely be Burner meeting Wiz Khalifa, smoking a joint with them. You know, the pothead way. You know what I'm saying? For real, man, that, that would be, you know, a dream come true. Because at the end of the day, I know they understand this message clearly because mm -hmm. they pothead geniuses. You feel me? For the show, for sure. Championship approaching and now they want membership. Fan of my soda and make sure you put like a fifth in it. Pack touching down and I hope it ain't a rat delivering. Get on my knees when I pray to stay in God's grace. Lately I've been wondering how to get in God's gates. My granny died, wish I could've got in God's way. No racket tens on overflow, but you can't time stay. I put a 50 on your head, show you crime pay. You can't stop anything except for your dying day. You can do anything, let you know what you're just the way they carry themselves or how they put up products or how they just think something like that um, for me man um, if we gonna go local I would have to say uh, black on black the brand black on you know what I'm saying they um they was really like the first local clothes well I, I wouldn't say the first mm -hmm. but the first to really take take it to that level where you know other people felt it was possible you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, man. And they they are a prestigious brand. You know what I mean? They um they put out they put out a clean look and if I would say motivation, I would have to go there. Yeah, okay. man. You shout out to Merck and Macho Means. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure, for sure. For real, for real. And now on the global level, I would have to say Lacoste. You know, that was okay. my favorite brand. Interesting. You feel me? Yeah, that was my favorite brand. And um Ah, uh, man, if, I, I even got that motherfucking tattoo on me. I got the gator right here, man. I love that shit so much. For real, for real. But um, I just love how how simple and elegant they clothes is. You know what I mean? Just an alligator yeah, thing. Just clean yeah, feel. Yeah, you know, they got that They got that here and there. They got their live stuff. But far as like, man, it's, it's, it's really clean, simple. And to the point, and that's that's really that's really how I like to look at fashion. You know, you want your over the top shit, but also you want your just straight, clean, fire. You know what I mean? That's what that's what Lacoste definitely is, man. For sure, for sure. Come anything, it's all about your mind state. This is heaven for G's. Tell me I wanna go out here without these ease. Got the devil too close. I lost a hundred in one play, nigga. The fuck do you know? We took that fucking risk together. How the fuck do I owe? So what has been your favorite piece of apparel to make? Oh uh, man, favorite piece of apparel to make. It would uh, um probably been our um snow on the beach is uh inspired windbreaker. You know what I mean? You know the Ralph Lawrence Snow mm -hmm. on the Beach joint? Yeah man, it was it was we did a um inspired windbreaker, you know, and it's pretty dope. We got the red, the navy blue, and the green. It's a pretty dope feel to it, like a vintage feel. I like that vintage feel yeah. in the fashion, you feel me? And that's you know big now, too, the vintage yeah. feel, the vintage kind of look. Yeah, I just like to, like, you know, I just like to be fresh, funky, you know what I mean? That funky feel, like, I mean, I'm just chilling, man, you know? That's the vibe, that's the vibe for real. So it would have had to be that, that pullover for sure, man. That was dope. That was dope for real, for real. And I would say, shit, just the first pothead t-shirt, you feel me? The first pothead t-shirt, it was crazy. Like, I'm running around just banging them out of my trunk, you know what I'm saying? So I can't forget about that. That was exciting, you know, just to pick up that and just pick up and go. Like, hey, I got these shirts, me trying to buy it, you know what I'm saying? So that was live. That was live, too. So I could never forget the first shirt we ever made, too, man. Because, man, a lot, of, a lot of motivation came from that. Cause I literally just picked them up, hit the streets, like, hey, need you to cop this. You know what I'm saying? We were selling them like 20 a piece. Me and my homie, mm -hmm. you feel me? We selling them like 20 a piece, just riding around. You know what I mean? With some real live motivation, you know? So, that's, them, them gotta be my two favorite pieces that 
snow on the beach, pull over, and um, God damn it, our first shirt ever. You know what I mean? And that's a baby too, so that's yeah, a special place in your yeah, heart. Yeah, I don't even think we got nothing in here. I show y'all, but yeah, 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 that was it. Five years from now, man, um, I picture myself. I don't know if I'm gonna have a lot of brick and mortar or flagships, or, the, or maybe the business would be full blown mobile. You feel me? Cause um, my next move is to get like a mobile store. Interesting. Like, a, like um, I'm gonna get a, like a maybe a Sprinter van, but when you walk into it, you will get the boutique feel. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be set up, dressing room, rails. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that's where my future is um, because I just want to be everywhere. So if I can get me five, ten vans and I can ship them all around the world and have my store mm -hmm. everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would be... Do you yeah. feel like your business is more online than it is? It's a little bit. It's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of both. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of both. Online, it, it's, it, it does good. And, you know, like with um, the ground play, it does good as well. Okay. You know, you know it, all, it all got Yeah, it peak. fluctuates, yeah, you know, you know changes yeah. and everything. It all got its peak, man. But shit, you know, like, I ain't even gonna lie, man. You know, with me going to prison, and just going through all that shit because it was um it was such a big case. I damn near lost everything. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I damn near lost because spending money on lawyers, yeah. doing this and doing that. You know what I mean? I damn near lost everything on the personal. You feel me? So to be back here a year later, you feel me? Is 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 man? It's a blessing, bro. So like you saying with the online. And in store, it's like, man, getting the flow for both is what you want to do. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, so. Building that, and nothing really replaces a brick and mortar, but realistically, going for it, everything's online. Now. Everything. It's everything. Instagram, you can buy it right off Instagram, Instagram. you can yeah. buy it right off Facebook, yeah. and everything like that. Yeah, so you know, we moving in that direction. You know, we trying to move with the game, man. And you know, we just believe in being a big, small business. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For real, man. For real, for real, man. Hey, shout out to you for this interview, man. Of course. It was dope, smooth, you feel me? For real, we locked in. God damn it, Pahit approved, you hear me? I appreciate that. I got the recipe, cook it up. Get on my knees when I pray to stay in God's grace. Lately, I've been wondering how to get in God's gates. My granny died, wish I could have got in God's way. No racket tens on overflow, but you can't time stay. All right, guys, you know how we end here at Queen City Odyssey, man. I just want to give a shout out to Josh for letting us come through. A pothead genius over here on East McMillan Street. Basically, man, this is your time. Shout yourself out, shout out your brand. Just take the time how much you want, man. Man, for sure, for sure, man. Please make sure y'all stop in and see me and my staff at 709 East McMillan. We with the shits, we with the vibes, and we living in peace. Shout out to the homie for this interview. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram and following us on Instagram. 1,000. Y'all heard it, man. Once again, season four, episode.